streaming at WNHU.org and live video at ConcertWindow.com. All right. My name is Bobby D, and this show is called Connecticut Rocks, which is all about Connecticut independent original music from the past, the present, and the future. We'll start things off with the uh, great song from Sonic Supercharger 66. They got a gig up in uh, Waterbury, I think, this Friday night. Check them out. Here's their signature tune for this show called CT Rock.
There you go. That's the Lost Riots. Oh, those guys. They have the new uh, collection that's coming out. They're going to have a special uh, release party at uh, Three Sheets in New Haven on Saturday night with some other bands, including uh, Slip and Fall and some others. The Lost Riots. That was last night was fun. And again, Sonic Supercharger 66, they're playing up in uh, Waterbury. That's Javier Canales and his uh, operation. Uh, putting on a lot of shows up in that area. They're playing uh, also, I think that's Saturday. Oh, Friday night. That's Friday night, Sonic Supercharger 66, with uh, the opening track on this edition of Connecticut Rocks, CT Rocks. Okay. So in the studio, let's see what we got. We got lots of people in the studio. Arthur's going to save his voice over there. So we're going to bring him on when we need to so we can maximize his voice. Okay. Arthur from uh, Parker's Tangent. And in the middle of all the things here in the studio is Danielle Kish. Hello. Hey. How you doing, Danielle? I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? Bring the microphone, please, close to you. That's what they're for. I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? I'm okay. And then to your right and my left is probably, what, the most most important or least important member of Catalina Shortwave? I would say most. Most important. That's what I would okay. Go with. Yeah. And you play what? Guitar. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You're off to, let's see. Uh, you're off uh, to the left of Dave. To the left of Dave. Okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking of that. I saw you at the, what, Lumberyard Pub. Yep. And did some things. So let's see if we can get you guys on camera. There you are. Now you're on concertwindow.com. Um, so Catalina Shortwave, you guys, you're working on your, what, 10th album now? No, actually, uh, it's going to be our fourth. Fourth, yeah. okay. And you're playing this event that Danielle's going to talk about called uh, the Fibs Midsummer Music and Arts Festival. It's happening in Oxford at the uh, end of this month. Three days. Yes. Are you going to sleep for four days and then stay awake for three days? Actually, the event um, includes camping, so oh, okay. people can stay, they can rest, they can wake up and enjoy more music. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, artisans, intoxicating beverages, bonfires, camping, drumming, and uh, nutritional items known as FOOD. Okay. Um, and then live music all all weekend, which is really cool. Let's see, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got ten bands, eleven bands. There's more than that, right? It's actually up to twelve bands now. Twelve bands now. Okay, and we're gonna sample a few. Maybe even uh, I could see. Maybe I can find some music from other people as well. Um, the one band that uh, you wanted to mention straight off is uh, Redheaded Stepchild. Yeah, Redheaded Stepchild uh, had a great following here in Connecticut, and we're being asked, when are you going to do a reunion? And, uh, well, they decided to listen, and they're doing a reunion for the festival. And Redheaded Stepchild is, which kind of style of music would you say? They are definitely rock. Yeah. Um, they do do some cover, but mostly original music, mm. and they put on one hell of a stage performance. Okay. So we're going to play uh, Listen, was it Listen to Me? Yes. Listen to Me. From Redheaded Stepchild, right here on Connecticut Rocks. Enjoy.
I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, so that's... Uh, let's see. Red-headed stepchild again would listen to me. And they are again one of the many bands playing at the Fibs Midsummer Music and Arts Festival happening July 29, 29 30, 31, which will be... Uh, let's see. That's... Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. At Schreiber's Farm in Oxford, Connecticut. Very, very cool. And it has uh, a non-profit benefit here kind of to it, right? We are actually helping out more than one mon- non-profit. Okay. Um, it's the Wolcott Dog Pound Medical Fund and Martha's Voice. Oh, okay. What is Martha's Voice? Martha's Voice is a charity that was started, and it helps with medical funding for animals um, at the Southbury Animal Control. They also help assist residents in Southbury when they s- have a need and they have pets. Okay. Well, there are many bands playing at this, and one of them, of course, is Catalina Shortwave. Yep. You guys. Uh, we're playing Sunday, 1 o'clock. Sunday at 1 o'clock. Yep. You breaking out any new material for this uh, event? Yeah, we're going to be playing at least two or three songs that aren't that aren't recorded on yet. They're going to oh. be on the new record. Oh, so awesome. We'll awesome. Some of those, yeah. Yeah. And Frank's going to be calm and sit in the chair and, and just say hello nicely to everyone, right? He's not going to jump up and start getting in people's faces. Uh, and That's probably going to happen. That's actually. probably going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Frank's one of the most nicest guys you're going to see or, or talk to when he's not performing. But when he is performing, he lets it out. He lets it yes, out. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay, so let's get into a track from uh, Catalina Shortwave. Danielle, you, you, you've seen them many times? Yes, I have seen them. And yeah. um, their lead singer is actually a very dear friend of mine. And I am very proud to be able to say that they're involved in this festival. Well, here's one of the tracks I, I've played here on Connecticut Rocks numerous times. Well, I played the entire EP nice. all, over time. Cool. Here, Astro Boy is one of the tunes I like and uh, Light You Up, of course. We're going to play uh, The Devil You Know from Catalina Shortwave right here on Connecticut Rocks. Um, my voice is kind of calm today for some crazy reason, but I'll let the music rock on. Here we go with Catalina Shortwave, The Devil You Know. <laughs> Of course I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, that's Walter Lane, actually. Good band. We're going to get to him. We're going to get to him. That was a tease. That was a tease, Daniel. Okay. This is Catalina Shortwave.
little devilish there with Catalina Shortwave and The Devil You Know. And Catalina Shortwave, one of the uh, dozen bands that'll be at this event in uh, Oxford, Connecticut, coming up at the end of the month on the 29th to the 31st, the FIBS Midsummer Music and Arts Festival. Where were you going to be during the weekend, Danielle? You're going to be sitting right in front of the stage enjoying every single band? I am <laughs> going to be in multiple places for the festival. Um, I am the lead singer of Pan's Prodigy, so I will be ah. performing on Saturday. Yeah. Um, I'm also one of the drummers for the DFib Bonfire Drumming. So in the evening, I will be drumming throughout the night at the bonfire. Um and for people who come, if you have a drum, join in. That's what it's all about, is just enjoying yourself, enjoying music. Awesome. Okay, Pants Prodigy. Maybe we can find some music from them. I don't know. We can, I can search around. The guy that we, the band we played earlier uh, a little bit there, Walter Lane from the album So Patient We're Ancient. Uh, maybe we play a couple tracks from these guys, and we'll bounce around to some other bands. Uh, let's see, Listen to Me, and then these guys got a song called Cry For Me, all kinds of, like, commands, do this for me, do this for me, <laughs> okay, so we'll play Walter Lane and Cry For Me right here on Connecticut Rocks, tell me about Walter Lane, you know much about them, don't you? Um, Walter Lane is pretty much blues rock, um, all the members are very seasoned musicians, so you, you're never let down with them. Um, actually, I think Keith here might be able to tell you a little bit, because they've played with them recently. Oh, go yeah, ahead. they played at the uh, Lumberyard with us about two months ago. Great band. Yeah. Says rock, yeah. Yeah, it says, it, well, one of the tracks they do is um, originally performed by Buddy Miles. Charlie Carp is a player that played with Buddy Miles. Oh, yeah. So the other night, actually, uh, his band Charlie Carpet and the Name Droppers played the same bill with uh, Christine Ullman and Rebel Montez. So that was a great show in Bridgeport on Saturday night. All right, so here's one from Walter Lane right here on Connecticut Rocks. Enjoy. i 
peace of mind. Yes, that's Redheaded Stepchild again, right here on Connecticut Rocks. Preceded that with Walter Lane and Cry For Me. Two of the many acts that'll be at the Midsummer Music and Arts Festival, known as the FIBS Midsummer Music and Arts Festival, happening at Oxford, Connecticut. Up Route 8, right? Yes. Yes, Up Route 8. Yeah, you go up in the wonderful part of the state. Yes, Oxford, Connecticut. July 29th, 30th, and 31st. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Schreiber's Farm. They do a lot of things at Schreiber's Farm, don't they? Yeah, they do. It's it's a beautiful venue for festivals. Uh, the Fire and Arts Festival was there not too long ago. Ah, yes. Yeah, a lot of cool things there. All right. Uh, is there Now, is there a website people can go to for more information, Danielle? Yes, squareup.com backslash store backslash d-e-f-i-b okay yes and if you follow connecticut rocks on uh facebook or instagram or twitter i'll try to get i I should be able to get that uh, link up there for you as well for more information about this uh great three-day event the fibs midsummer music and arts festival Danielle, thank you for coming and being here on Connecticut Rocks. And, of course, Catalina Shortwave, you guys have been here before. So. Yeah. No, thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, you, you know where, where everything is in this place, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know where the secret refrigerator is downstairs? That I did not know. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll go out with one more from uh, Catalina Shortwave. Let's see. My, one of my favorites, I think, Astro Boy. Uh, where is that? Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Here's another one from Catalina Shortwave, and we'll come back and we'll start talking with um, Arthur Barger. Barger? Barger. Barger. Barger, yeah. Yeah, Barger. Parker's Tangent is his band, and he's hosting uh, Sounds of Summer, another great year another great event with many many bands so all right danielle thank you for coming again thank you very much and thank you for all the support you give to local music oh thank you and here's another one from catalina shortwave this one's called astro boy i'm sure it's going to be a rocking event danielle thank you
Catalina Shortwave with Astro Boy right here in Connecticut Rocks, home of Connecticut Independent Original Music right here in WNHU, West Haven, Connecticut. Arthur Barger is here. I'm here. Yes, Arthur. Like I said, I have a little touch of laryngitis, so you have to bear with me. Yes. But I'm here. So you got to save your voice for sounds of some. I do. Although people would prefer that I don't sing, but um, that's okay. I'm in the background. I'm in. De- I'm the deep background singer. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, the Foresters have a new track. Jimmy the Aviation sponsorship boy. Oh, cool. Yeah. Kate. Kate is giving approval of it. Have you heard it, uh, Arthur? No, I haven't heard it yet. Oh, okay. Now, the Foresters are playing at uh, Sounds of Summer. They are playing. We're very happy to have them. Yes. I see the lineup. We've mentioned Parker's Tangent, which is obviously the headlining band. Well, yes. you put on the festival, you can put your band with. <laughs> yes, I understand it, Arthur. Um, Arlene Wow. Oh, she's great. No, Noah Smith Band. They played last year. They're, they're another great band. Yeah, we're going to get to some of these. Uh, Terry Hopper, with his, he's on a lot of uh, drum circles. Yeah, he's going to be playing his drum synthesizer, and he's just going to blow your mind. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've heard his music before, yeah. When I was over at PKN, he, I used to hear it. probably, on that instrument, maybe the best one in the country. Yeah. Off he's, the, he's modest. Off the Dome, the young guys, jam band. The Foresters, which I'm going to play a track from right now. Kath Bloom. She's great. Too. Yeah. From the movie Before Sunrise, she has a track on that. Mm. And she's been around New Haven. For a long time. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's say. Yeah, Bob Tweedy's with her yeah. and uh, uh, Flo, Flo Ness from Flo Ness. Uh, from Doug Dangerman's Doug band. Dangerman. Yeah. And Off the Tracks completes the uh, lineup for Sounds of Summer. The sixth year. It's happening this Sunday, July 17th, 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Town Center Park at Meadowbrook, uh, 2761 Dixwell Avenue in Hamden. It's an all ages, non profit free event. Music for the people, people for the music. Yeah. That's what we say. Okay. So here's one brand new, I guess. Let's see. When did they release this? Uh, oh, back in February. Geez. It's not that new. But this is The Foresters, Jimmy the Aviation Sponsorship Boy, right here on Connecticut Rocks.
There's one from Parker's Tangent right here around Connecticut Rocks. It's, oh, I forget the title again, Arthur. It's called It's All True. It's All True, yes. It's All True. Tell me tell me who are the members of Parker's Tangent. Okay, we actually are up to seven members now. Um, we have Leslie on vocals, on lead vocals. We have a woman named Elise on backup vocals. And they have very different voices. Leslie's kind of warm and sultry, and Elise is kind of like a little higher and stronger. Um, we have Hal on bass, one of the best bass players in Connecticut. We have Tim on keyboards. I'm the guitar player and the songwriter. And we have Ken on violin, who you heard a little bit of. He He's worth the price of admission, which is free, mm. because uh, he's a force of nature. He's a classically trained, he's a classical teacher, a classical performer. And he plays with us, and he's just awesome. So he's just as good as it gets. So he lifts everyone in the band up. So th that's yeah, that's the band. I mean, we're an orchestra. Everybody shows on. So that's who's in the band. Yeah. Parker's Tangent. Yeah, you guys, it's a, it's a fun thing. Um, 
fun performance to see. I mean, uh, you guys don't play often too much in that full ensemble, do you? We don't because it's almost everyone is in multiple bands, so it's really hard to schedule everyone. And like I said, this Ken is playing for the orchestra and the ballet, and we don't like to go out without him. So we have, but, um, you know, we always say he's the icing on the cake. We're cake, you know. <laughs> okay. We're okay, but, you know, he's, he's, he's our secret weapon. All right. We'll get to another track from Parker's Tangent in this uh, next duo of songs. going to start it off with uh, Off the Dome, which is also playing at the uh, Sounds of Summer Festival this Sunday in Hamden. Uh, Off the Dome with Supernova Sunrise right here on Connecticut Rocks. Here it comes. Bum, 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 bum. Off the dome. What do you think, Parker? <laughs> I or Arthur, Arthur. Well, that may be a clue to why the group is called Parker Stangent. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling you Parker, yeah. It wouldn't be the first time, which is sort of a little bit of the name of oh. the group. Here's another one from Parker's Tangent. Goodbye, goodbye, was all he said. 
There you go. That's Parker's Tangent. I, I can tell you, we'll be doing that song live on Sunday because people want us to do it, so we always do it. The Distance. Yeah, we've heard that here on Connecticut Rocks before. It just sounds fresh every time we play it, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, another artist that'll be there is Kath Bloom. Thank you very much. Who's uh, been around, as it say, many, many years here in Connecticut. Uh, let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Here's one from her called uh, Changing Horses in Midstream. Kath Bloom. <laughs> deepest night you know it never stops pouring into you on the edges of your dream pouring you and how the blade does It's Kath Bloom with Changing Horses in Midstream. And Kath Bloom is also performing on Sunday at Sounds of Summer. A sixth annual event happening uh, at the Town Center Park at Meadowbrook, 2761 Dixwell Avenue. That's in Hamden, Connecticut. All ages, family-friendly, pet-friendly, handicap access. 
loads of fun. Starts around 2 p.m. and goes until, I guess, sunset? It goes to about 9. Cause yeah. We're hoping to get access to the lights like we did last year. Ah, okay. Which was really nice. Arthur, is it? Oh, people can find uh, info online too. Well, the best thing is to go to Facebook and type in "Sounds of Summer." Yeah, "Sounds of Summer 6. and if you're interested, you know, we, there's an event page, and uh, say you're coming, and then invite your friends, because that's why we're here to get the word out, and we do this with virtually no budget. Well, let me say this: none of the musicians get paid. I'm not getting paid to do this. Yes. So it's a total labor of love, but we do it. It's a great day. It's a fun day. We have a guy doing sound. I should mention him. What he charges us, he's almost free, too. I mean, he does a great favor to us. He's as a good a sound man as it gets. Mm. I've walked all over the park. Everywhere in the park, the sound is great. And it's a huge park. The sound on the stage is great everywhere on the stage. I mean, it's just incredible so give him a plug too okay well let's see if we can find something here from uh noel smith ah, hello yeah he's doing it, one of these acoustic things i'm going to catch here in a moment but i want to remind you you're tuned in to wnhu 88.7 fm west haven connecticut usa wnhu the fm alternative from the University of New Haven. This is Connecticut Rocks. My name is Bobby D. And Connecticut Rocks is all about Connecticut independent original music. From the past, the present, and the future. Here's Noel Smith with an acoustic version of Milkshake Mistake. My friend called me up one day at night. Said, no, you want a job? I said, yeah, all right. Said, all right, buddy, you can start tomorrow. I went in the next day with my hair combed straight. I said, hey, boss, he said, you're one second late. He said, now go over there and get to work. So I scrubbed the walls and I washed the floors, but it didn't matter because there was always more. I started to feel a little bit faint. I walked up to him when I thought I was done. He looked me in the eye and said, listen, son, I don't know about you kids today at all. But back in my day, never think sat fast. Never drank your booze or smoked your grass. We did things most properly. So about this time, my fists were clenched, my mouth was dry, but I was drenched from all the goddamn sweat. I pulled my patience to the limit. One of these days I'm gonna blow. I don't think I can go another minute. Oh, the whole can't take it anymore. So I finally said, hey, listen, man, I'm trying damn near as hard as I can. Why don't you just take a step back? He said, fine, then go have a break. And while you're at it, you can drink the milkshake. It's sitting over there on my desk. So I slurped it up like I was insane, just barely realizing it was straight grain that I was shoving down my mouth. You see, it was a liquor store I was working at, and I mixed the two up like a magic hat. And I didn't know what the heck was going on. When my boss screamed, you lazy bum, work ain't supposed to be so much fun, I slowly wobbled back from my break. When the next lady asked me which wine is the best, I could barely help throwing up all over her chest. I decided then it was time to quit. I put my patience to the limit. One of these days I'm gonna blow. I don't think I go another minute. Oh, la ho, can't take it anymore. One more time, I put my patience to the limit. One of these days I'm gonna blow. I don't think I go another minute. Oh, la ho, can't take it anymore. That sounded good, Arthur, didn't it? It sounded really good. Yeah. That's Noel Smith and Milkshake Mistake. He did that as a solo acoustic version. And you'll see him as uh, Arthur, you were saying he's I coming. I think he's coming as a trio. As a trio on Sunday? Okay. All right, we're going to close out here. Sons of Su Sounds of Summer 6. Arthur's voice will definitely be back by Sunday. <laughs> it's getting there. Parker's Tangent with... 
the lineup of Off the Tracks, Cats Bloom, The Foresters, Off the Dome, Terry Hopper, who also was your MC, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's Terry Hopper of uh, WPKN fame. That's yes. right. Good guy. And Noel Smith Band, you just heard him, and also Arlene Wow, who's uh, also known as Ear Candy for the Soul. And we also have one more person that's not on the Oh, there's flyer, another act, too. We have another addition to the flyer. Yes. His name is James Weiser. It, he actually plays, like, every year, and every year he does something different, either a single or a trio. And one year he came with his son, and they had a father-son duo, and it was very cool. So he, he's going to be... Uh, Performing on Sunday as well. And how do you how do you spell Weiser? W e i s s e r. S s. Okay. Let's see what we got. He's also in a band called Coda Brew. You might find something. Ah, there. okay. All right. Well, in a few moments, we're going to switch over and focus on uh, Naomi Star. Uh. Coda Blue? Eh. Mm, not finding anything. Maybe not. I think okay. Some of his bands, and some of all these bands, kind of come and go, kind of fleetingly. Okay. Well, ag again, Sounds of Summer, it's been a blast every year. I, I think I've been to uh, three in the past. Yeah, it's a fun day. Weather is looking good for this Sunday. Yeah. Um, oh, and then, uh, yeah, you did mention uh, in the social networks, if per chance... It gets rained on. The fest could possibly uh, fall back and move to the uh, ballroom at the uh, right. space, Co space complex over there in, in Hamden. Yeah. But we're all hoping that the weather holds and Absolutely. it's a wonderful day. Absolutely. Okay. So, Arthur, again, on Facebook, if you want to find information, go to uh, Sounds of Summer 6, and you can find all kinds of information there. You could just put it into Google, too. That would probably lead you to Facebook. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thanks again, Arthur. Hey, thank this, you. Yeah, Thanks, Bob. Yeah, Thanks hopefully your voice gets better. And tomorrow you're on Robbie DeRosa's show, Homegrown, up on the Wesleyan Station, yeah. WESU. Yeah, I'll be a call in tomorrow on WESU, so I hope my voice comes back a little. Okay. But thanks. You got it's it. It's been great. And here's one from Naomi Starr to get you prepped up. We're going to play Sunshine Girl to start off.
So there's two to get you started from the, the Naomi Star. We heard Sunshine Girl from the uh, collection known as Sunshine Girl, the title track, of course. And then from the album Through the Eyes, you heard the opening track Karma in the studio. Steve Bonofsky. Steve. Hello. Hey, pull that even closer. There you are. How's that sound? Yeah, it sounds really good now. <laughs> Wow. The power pop sound of Naomi Star. You put this band together how many years ago? Oh, geez. I guess it would be about 13 now. Yeah. Um, and kind of uh, formed back in the 90s. I was in a band called Hannah Crana. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's the Steve Deal connection we were talking about yes. earlier. You yeah. Know? So Hannah Crana and Chopper were on the same label that was based on new york city called big deal records and then um basically the label went uh you know belly up in the late 90s and you know so we had all this you know recorded material that um didn't see the yeah see the it's kind of like what are you gonna do with it you know yes, <laughs> you know, okay. once, <laughs> yeah, you're kind of halfway through with it so um you know i kind of like in between i actually put a solo record out that did like pretty well you know yeah like, remember um, yeah and then uh, what, it was actually I was living in Litchfield at the time, and my cousin Paul was coming down quite a bit, the singer for the Naomi Star, mm -hmm. who who would end up being this this singer for the Naomi Star. And um, you know, he just started kind of helping me do some live shows. And then, I, you know, I kind of got to the point where you know. I kind of had to put my ego aside and say, well, this guy's got a better voice than I do. <laughs> and so, you know, it was kind of handy that he was my first cousin, you know. So I said, hey, why don't we, why don't we start a band, you know. And uh, that's, you know, so uh, I got uh, Steve Riccani, who was the drummer in Hannah Crana. And then uh, the, on the first album, uh, Rocco uh, Via Vicencio, who's... Uh, who was also in Hannah Crana. So it was kind of like three quarters of Hannah Crana and then, uh, you know, my cousin Paul. Kohler on vocals and that was the start and that's pretty much what the first album is is uh, some of the tracks I was working on at the time I just kind of had Paul redo the vocals on some of it and then uh, um, he wrote a couple tunes himself mm -hmm. and Steve Riccani our drummer wrote a great tune for that record and uh, well let's we hear let's hear out, something yeah. from this one uh, which which tracks would you like Thought to you play? Could you could start start at the beginning. We'll start with uh, Voices, which is the first track. Okay. This is uh, one that Paul brought in. It's one of my favorites by him. Are you ready now to get out tonight? But I can't take you till you're good and ready to go. City's calling out your name again. We hear the voices every now and then.
every now and then I hear from you But I don't know who I am talking to on there but uh it's one the of, drummer's too yeah this is one our our drummer doesn't write a whole lot of songs but when he writes one yeah it's really good and, okay. and his his songs are some of my favorite december sun you said yeah december sun this is uh this is a cool tune one two if you want i'll be leaving i'll move on That's another great one from Naomi Star, uh, December Sun from the first album. And the, one of the reasons that Stephen is here, aside from it's been long overdue to showcase Naomi Star in a full segment here on Connecticut Rocks, because I've played Naomi Star over the years um, here and there, but uh, there is a Naomi Star reunion show happening Sunday afternoon in downtown New Haven at Cafe Nine. Yep, four to six. Yes, and it's um, it's gonna be like um, you know, pretty you know, let your hair down kind of affair. You know, we're just kind of uh, getting as many people down to it as we can. Yeah, you know, we're all parents now, so we're trying to make it a you know. The lineup that will on Sunday will be what? Event. What will be the lineup? The lineup is basically the band that we um, 
ended with. Um, so on the Sunshine Girl album, the mm. the uh, we brought aboard um, Dan Kohler, who you notice has the same last name as Paul Kohler, even yes. though they're we're, we're all cousins. So all we're right. all first cousins. And yeah. Paul and Dan are not brother and sister, but they're also first cousins. My my mother's maiden name is Kohler, so that's the the Kohler connection. And somewhere up in heaven, our our grandfather Herb is smiling and happy that we we're all in a band together. Somehow the whole band enjoys pizza, though, right? Yeah, we lo- yeah maybe a little too much, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But, um, you know, so, you know, come on down Sunday afternoon, four to six. Um, you know, it's, I, I can't even think of the last time I played an afternoon show. So that's, uh, mm. that's a cool thing in and of itself. Cause, uh, you know, you can still do stuff the rest of the day and sure. you, you won't be tired the next well, day. Well, everybody you know? that, that went to all of the Naomi star shows in the clubs back then, they, 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 late, they're, they're you know? a couple of months older than they were then. So, you know, an afternoon gig. Air conditioned on a Sunday in the summer. It's you know, it's not yeah, nothing it's you a can no beat. No brainer. You yes, know? it is, and it's free. And uh, you're going to play tracks from all three recordings on Sunday. Yeah, we are. We, we kind of, uh, it, you know, I think each of us have an idea of what a no- Naomi Star set should include, and then we we each have our own kind of pet favorites. I would say, you know, and we've known each other long enough that we. Uh, you know, sort of accommodate each other in that regard, you know, so, um, it's, you know, that, that band, um, doesn't fight very much, unlike a lot of bands, okay. probably because we're related. Yeah, know. it would be a Should pity. We share those genes. It would be a pity to power pop to, uh, have uh, fits between each other. Doesn't, would come out in the music, actually, sometimes. Yeah, yeah it could be good, you know. Uh-huh. Maybe we should fight more, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Next up on the hit parade from the Naomi Star, which which track would you like to play? Uh, let's go with one of Dan's numbers. Uh, you could play uh, second track in. It's called "Where Are You Going." Okay. This is actually uh, one of Dan's great songs, I think. All right. <laughs>
want to, you yeah. can just go. Um, let's see. Uh, where are you going? I guess you can go to uh, Through the Eyes. Another great song. Oh, the that. title track. Yeah. Got to play that one. It's got some naughty chords in it. You know, it's as 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 Ward Whipple says, our who's going to be playing rhythm guitar for us, says those are chords, you know, that like augmented and things like that, you know. So George Harrison used to call them naughty chords. Sweet Harmonies, that's the the signature of the Naomi Star. And you just heard another track from their second release, Through the Eyes, that was the title track. Actually, that's our third one. That's the third one. Okay, Sunshine Girl is the second one. Yeah. Okay, I I got them wrong. Gets confusing, yeah. Yeah, it does get confusing. (laughs) Especially when I threw a curveball at you saying, like, let's start with the third one. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Um... Yeah, yeah, we were talking just a moment ago. This is kind of music that's it, power pop in, in in essence to me should be played on lots and lots of radio. It's just a timeless style of music that um every generation can can, can attach itself to to an era of power pop. Yeah. And in Connecticut, unfortunately, so much of the uh commercial radio and subsidized radio are limiting in terms of where they want to go with uh, their yeah. musical programming, and they don't open up to something like uh, Naomi Star. Yeah, it's, you know, Rocco 
from Hannah Cran and I used to say all the time that, you know, if that didn't work out, we were going to start, you know, because Connecticut is the land of the, the cover band. And so we were going to start Connecticut's only Neil Young cover band and call it Powderfinger. And, you know, we'd probably make a lot more money than we, we made doing original music. Well, as, I, as, <laughs> as Kate, Kate can relate, I told a couple of guys who do sh- have a band called the Taylor Swifts. <laughs> yeah, you'd probably rake it in. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to keep bouncing around because the music is so sweet from the Naomi Star. And again, you can catch these guys doing a uh, reunion show on Sunday afternoon at uh, at the 9, as they say, Cafe 9 uh, in downtown uh, Bridgeport, in, not Bridgeport, downtown New Haven. Yeah, uh, right it's on a free, State Street, yeah. Yeah, State Street. It's a free show, no cover event. Go and enjoy some uh, really, really uh, well done uh, pop songs from the Naomi Star. And uh, yeah, we were going back. Uh, there's, there's some of these songs still uh, get a feel of a, of a Stephen Deal touch on some of these things. You know, the, the, the style of his bands coming into play with this. Cause Steve, you, yeah, that was, well, you know, I think that was one of the things that. Um, you know, I remember when I first saw Chopper, um, Steve's old band, the the one that ended up on Big Deal Records. Mm. Um, he um, he Steve was always into a little bit more of a harder edge power pop. Yeah. Than we were. Yeah. Ours was always a little bit more, um, you know, acoustically tinged and things like that. But but certainly, you know, Steve. And um, Hannah Cranna and the Naomi Star were, you know, in, kind of informed by a lot of the yeah, same Steve, people. Yeah, Steve influ- O in, infused a little bit of a, maybe a punk rock into his music. Yeah. And he comes back from the days of the Who and things like that. that yeah, he, was, he very, was a huge Who Yeah, mo- yeah. the mod scene he was very influenced yeah. by. Matter of fact, right before Steve passed away, I gave him um, a pickup, a P90 pickup, because mm-hmm. he, he wanted to build the Les Paul that uh, Townsend had in the uh, 70s. And he was shy one pickup, so I I gave it to him, and he 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 did end up getting it in the guitar, you know, before he passed. So I was kind of happy about that. All right. But uh, Steve's actually on that third record. You know, we come back to that one, and I'll I'll show you one of the songs that he plays on. Oh, okay. Which one does he play? He plays on a song called Power Pop Nugget, and he plays the acoustic guitar on it, and he actually sings on it too. All right. We can do that one. Let's do that one. This is um, one of those songs that uh, was right up Steve's alley, you know. She loved. Excuse me? What'd you say? It said it had a Who-like beginning, you know, because Steve loved the Who. Okay. You'll hear it. Yeah, well, we just played it while you were talking, but I'm going to do it. sorry. It's all right. (laughs) Ah, We're going to start it again. Next time, just cut me off. Every now and then, you find the right words to say.
That one's called Hazy Sunshine from the Naomi Star. Preceded that with Power Pop Nuggets. I think the first person I played that song for when it was written was Frank Cortelli. And I, and he came over my yeah. apartment and I said, hey, Frank, listen to this song. And it was Hazy Sunshine. And he's like, love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. His beard wasn't as big then. No, he didn't even. Well, he might have had like a little beard back then, but it was, you know. <laughs> He, he's st- he's starting to look like you know Michael Stipe now you know. <laughs> um, speaking of Michael Stipe, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mark Mulcahy has a big one now too with the leader of uh, Miracle Legion, which played just last night, opening for Guided by Voices, and also will be in New Haven, a sold out show at the Ballroom on Saturday night, and Miracle Legion plays at the Bell House Friday night in Brooklyn. Catch them if you can. Uh, they're all together again on one stage. So, but uh, Mark Mulcahy's beard, he did a. They did a duo on uh, on a BBC TV show uh, last week, a couple weeks ago, and it was just on Twitter. He's challenging Michael Stipe. Is he? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get another one in from uh, Naomi Star. Yes, yeah, this is called "Find My Way Home," and this is like, you know, it's a little bit different. You know, it's it's. Um, a little bit more bluesy and it and it goes into sort of a rock uh area towards the end and um it gives you a really good sense of you know, what Paul Kohler can do on uh vocals and I I still maintain he's you know one of the best singers this city's ever seen you know he's just effortless <laughs>
right. That's another one from Naomi Star. Uh, Find my my home, and you we mentioned that. Uh, that's a great opportunity to hear the vocals of. Yeah, Paul does a great job on that one. Yeah. Uh, we're going to round out with one more song from Naomi Star and uh, mention again, you can see the band in a rare opportunity, uh, one-off show on Sunday afternoon at the uh, n- venue known as Cafe 9 in the Ninth Square section of New Haven. And it's a matinee show. band goes on around 4 o'clock and plays for a couple hours, diving into all three albums they released. It's going to be a great opportunity to see and hear the Naomi Star. And if you miss it, uh, shame on you. Ru- rumors are <laughs> that the band's not going to be doing a national tour or a European tour very soon. Unless someone offers us big money, you know. Okay. So which song you want to go out with? Uh, we'll Steve? go out with Saturday. This is a lot of the girls like this one. You know, you'll see why. Okay. All right. Here's one more from. The Naomi Star, right here on Connecticut Rocks on WNHU. It feels so good that I have Saturday. Here I want to keep her in my arms And as I open up my eyes She's gone again I cannot wait for Saturday Another day is all I need I cannot wait for Saturday I know she'll never Sends a whisper from across a crowded room. As I close my heavy eyes again, I see. I cannot wait for Saturday. Another day is all I need. I cannot.
That's the Naomi Star with Saturday from their album Sunshine Girl. And catch them again Saturday, uh, Sunday afternoon at Cafe 9 in New Haven and matinee show starting around 4 p.m. Stephen Bonofsky, it's been great to have you here. Thanks for having me in, Bob. Again, you can connect with Connecticut Rocks via email, ConnecticutRocks at gmail.com. On Facebook, Connecticut Rocks Radio is a Facebook group and a fan and a group and a fan page. And on Instagram and Twitter, it's at CTROX Radio. Thanks again for listening. Be back next Wednesday from 7 to 9 right here on WNHU 88.7 FM, West Haven, Connecticut, USA. Next up, it's Ken Michaels and Every Little Thing.